In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add multiple breadboards to your Arduino circuits in a clean way. So let's look at this circuit, for example. You can see that the breadboard here is already quite crowded with many different components. So of course you could add some components here, but let's say that you don't have any room on your breadboard or simply you want to use different breadboard for different components. So let's make the example with a more simpler circuit. So here I have an Arduino Uno, I have my breadboard and I already have an LED connected okay, to pin digital pin number 12. So first, if you want to connect different breadboard together, well, the first breadboard should be correctly set up. You have, so you have here on the bottom and as you can see here, uh, at the top of the breadboard, you have a plus and a minus line, okay? And the minus line will be used to connect the ground, okay, for all the components. And the plus line will be used to connect the power supply, or here, 5 volt, with the components and the Arduino Uno. So the first thing you can do with the first breadboard is actually to connect a ground pin of the Arduino to the minus line and the 5 volt pin to the plus line. And then let's add another breadboard. So I'm going to add a new breadboard here. How are we going to connect this breadboard to the Arduino? And well, the first thing is of course we are going to connect ground and 5 volt, but not directly from the Arduino. We can chain the different board. So I'm going for example to connect here the ground, let's put black, and also the 5 volt power supply. And now this line is also connected to this line and this line here is connected to that line. So this breadboard and this breadboard is like it's the same breadboard. And that's quite simple, okay? So as long as you correctly set up your first breadboard, then you can connect any breadboard you want. And if you want, you can also connect this line, for example, like this. Okay, let's put black, okay? And let's connect also the plus here with red. Okay, and you can also, if you want to, connect here to here. I'll just go here again. Let's do uh, black and let's do red here. Okay, so that way all the lines here, the minus lines are connected together and all the plus lines are connected together. Okay, and then you can do whatever you want with your components. You can continue to add new components. Let's add a uh, potentiometer. I'm going to add a potentiometer right here. Okay, and so for the potentiometer, you need to plug one of the leg to the ground. Okay, let's put it black. The opposite leg to 5 volt. Let's put it uh, red or to the power supply. And then one pin to an analog pin. So, for example, let's take the middle one here and goes to any analog pin A2, for example. So, of course, for the pins that you connect directly to uh, analog pins here and digital pins here, you will have to, of course, connect that leg of the component to the corresponding pin. But for the ground and the power supply, now you have all the lines here you want. And whether I connect the ground on this breadboard or on this breadboard here is the same. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.